Hey everyone, JT here. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. And I'm actually here today to share with you my AM and PM skin routine. I just want to give you guys a small disclaimer um, in terms of my skin type. So this video is going to be for people that have dry skin. Um, I actually have really dry skin around the outside areas of my face, towards the center of my face, to be more specific, my nose. Um, it's a little bit more oily. And the way you can tell if you have oily skin or dry skin is just by the visibility of your pores. The more visible they are, the more oily your skin is. The less visible or almost non-existent it seems like, then the more dry your skin will be. Um, I have more visible pores on my nose, so it's a little bit more oily than the super dry skin in the rest of my face because um, the pores, like I said, are um, very small. Oh, and I just want to add on to the disclaimer that I do not have sensitive skin, um, so I don't really get lots of reactions to new, new, to new products. Um, if you do have sensitive skin, sensitive dry skin, I would just test it, um, do a little test patch. I just wanted to give you that small disclaimer before you went ahead and tried these products yourself. Other than that, let's get started. First up in my AM routine is a hydrating cleanser and for that I use the Alba Botanica deep cleansing coconut milk wash coconut milk is just hydrating in itself um, I get up I work out and then I take a shower and while I'm in the shower I do my cleansing step and not only does this smell so delicious um, it smells like coconuts obviously and like the beach but you can feel it deep cleansing and getting really down into those pores as you wash them and as you're rinsing the cleanser off um, I actually purchased this Apple Botanical Wash on Amazon because you can find it at Target and there's a big long line of products from Apple Botanica but I had a really hard time finding this particular coconut milk uh, cleanser. Um, so I just went ahead and got it on Amazon. The Apple Botanica site, every time I go, um, it's under site construction, no judgment, but um, Amazon works just the same. So, Alba Botanica Coconut Deep Cleansing Wash, step one. Step two, my AM routine, is once I get out of the shower and I'm drying myself off and I'm getting ready to put my face on, if you will, um, I like to use an antioxidant serum just because it helps. Antioxidants are great for your skin, period, but they also do help with hydration, um, discoloration, just a whole bunch of stuff. So, I've tried a lot of different antioxidant serums but this one just takes the cake not only does it smell citrusy but again you can feel it working you can feel it just really getting into your skin and just hydrating and I use the and I highly recommend the juice beauty antioxidant serum um, you just you know it's like a dropper so you apply I just apply it with my fingers I just put it onto my fingertips and I apply it with my fingers and you just put it all over your face your neck your decolletage and um, you let it soak in a little bit then I move on to step three step three of my AM routine is to use a good moisturizing day cream and I use the Clinique Dram dramatically different moisturizing cream and this is just a good day cream because um, it's not too thick like a night cream, but it's thick enough that it keeps your skin hydrated for most of the day. Not all the, not all day, but most of the day. I got this at Macy's. You can just get it wherever Clinique products are sold. Now the fourth step in my AM routine is um, a product that I've actually mentioned before. I believe I mentioned it in my June favorites, um, and that is the Nip and Fab. Venom Viper Venom Eye Fix. It's a mouthful to say. I have really dry under eyes like I've mentioned before So this is perfect to just pop on under your eyes and um, Just kind of gradually helps your eyes get more moisture um, And like I mentioned before in a previous video This is kind of one of those things that your skin gets better as you use it. So I think I'm running out of this but um time to Time to replenish my supply but out of everything I've mentioned so far in my AM routine um, this is actually the last step I do but this is the th the item that I most highly recommend on the weekends when I have a little more time I pop one of these babies on and I this is the Tony Moly um, 
face sheet. And I actually got this at Sephora or Ulta. One of those places. And this is the avocado hydrating face mask sheet. But as soon as you put this on, it's like... Mm. On the weekends, when I do decide to use this face mask sheet, it's sliding. Um, I do the coconut milk cleanser. I skip the antioxidant serum just because it, this has hydrating stuff already. So once I take this off, I just put on my moisturizer and I use my little eye thing and then we're good to go. So now I want to fast forward to the end of the day. Do not go to sleep with your makeup on. You gotta take it off. And you need a good cleanser and you need a good moisturizer. But I like to give my cleanser a hand, help it out by wiping off as much excess makeup that I can by using a makeup remover wipe. I go for the, I actually prefer these to like the Neutrogena wipes or um, any other kind of makeup remover wipes and they're the up and up um, refreshing cleansing towelettes and you can actually get these at Target and they're reasonably priced and it does the job so if you can save on something that works just the same as everything else that's priced a little higher why not go for it so up and up wet cleansing towelettes target the blue bag there's a whole bunch of different colors but i use the blue bag in particular so after you've wiped off as much of the makeup as you can with the makeup removal wipes you go ahead and actually cleanse your skin um, i use the CeraVe hydrating cleanser and it's the one with the green graphics it's an again it's one of those skin lens that has a lots of different um, items um, and this is the hydrating cleanser and this is for normal to dry skin so this really does a good job at just taking everything off and you can see when you're rubbing it into, into your skin that it's just literally like wiping everything off as you're um, distributing the item onto your skin um, I like it because it doesn't dry your skin out um, it's kind of creamy and milky so it's hydrating as it cleanses. After I use the cleanser, it's time to use your moisturizing night cream. The difference between day cream and night cream, among other things, is that night creams are, they tend to be a little thicker, so they work a little harder while you sleep. I actually use, again, the CeraVe line, or skincare line, but I use the CeraVe moisturizing cream, and this one has the blue graphics. And this is for normal to dry skin. Um, so I just pop it on after I use the cleanser and dry my skin off a bit. And right before I go to bed, use this moisturizer. I do not use it right under my eye, and I'll tell you why in a little bit. But I use it everywhere else. My neck, decolletage. Uh, the reason that I don't use it right under my eyes is because, again, I have really dry under eyes. So I want something that's going to work a little harder while I sleep to moisturize those bad boys. So for that, I use the Vita Coco coconut oil just right under my eyes while I sleep. Please do not use coconut oil on your skin if you're going to expose your skin to sunlight. It's been known to cause hyperpigmentation. I actually just got this at Whole Foods or Safeway, one of those. Um, basically because you can do whatever with coconut oil. You can eat it, wear it, <laughs> eat it, wear it, swear by it. When I finished using those four products. I actually set everything I've done for the night with this Evian facial spray and it's really just mineral water in a, spray, in a little spray bottle. And I just like it because like um, Fix Plus or the charged water I use from MAC, it kind of sets in your moisturizer. Um, and it's just, it's really just water and it's, you can use it as many times as you want and it just helps add additional hydration to your skin or just hydrate your skin even more. You can do it on top of makeup, you can use it instead of... Rude. Rude! Are you done? Okay. I actually carry one in my purse when I feel like my skin is getting a little dry or when it went a little too easy on the moisturizer. Just... Yeah. Squirt that baby on. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. And I hope that this 
a.m. and p.m. skin routine that I've shared with you um, helps a lot of you, you guys with dry skin um, who haven't really found a routine or products that you can use to help with the dryness. Um, definitely check these products out. I will link them below so you guys can get to shopping. Again, thank you so much and I'll talk to you guys soon.